The following installation procedures are suggested guidelines for the installation of a thermoelectric heat tracing system. Heat tracing cables may be installed in ordinary non-classified and hazardous classified locations depending on the specific cable options and approvals. Termination kits to fabricate a heat tracing circuit are not addressed in these installation procedures. Refer to installation procedures included with cable termination kits or contact Thermon for specific instructions to fabricate heating cable. Individuals installing these products are responsible for complying with all applicable safety and health guidelines. Proper personal protective equipment or PPE should be utilized during installation. Contact Thermon if you have any additional questions. Upon receiving heating cable, check to make sure the proper type and output have been received. All flexible cables have the catalog number, voltage rating, and watt output printed on the jacket. Visually inspect cable for any damage incurred during shipment. The heating cable should be tested to ensure electrical integrity with at least a 500 volt DC megometer. However, IEEE 515 and IEC 60079-30 recommend that the test voltage for polymer insulated heating cables be 2500 volt DC. Connect the positive lead of the megometer to the cable bus wires and the negative lead to the metallic braid. Minimum resistance should be 20 megohms. Record test results on Record 1 of Cable Testing Report in Thermon Installation Procedures Form PN50207. Before installing heating cable, ensure all piping and equipment to be traced is completely installed and pressure tested. Surface area where heat tracing is to be installed must be reasonably clean. Remove dirt, rust, and scale with a wire brush and oil and grease films with a suitable solvent. Begin temporary installation at the proposed end of circuit location and lay out heating circuit on the pipe, allowing extra cable for the power connection and any splice locations. See appropriate product specifications sheet for heating cable minimum bin radius. Make heating cable allowances for valves, flanges, elbows, and supports as per the applicable drawings, CompuTrace, or as shown on Table 1 in Thermon Installation Procedures Form PN50207. Begin final heating cable attachment by securing the end of circuit termination kit and working back toward the power supply. Flexible heating cable is to be installed using circumferential bands of attachment tape installed at 12 inch or 30 centimeter intervals to keep the cable in proper contact with the pipe. In addition to the circumferential tape requirements, a continuous covering of aluminum foil tape may be required when spray or foam urethane thermal insulation is applied, when heat tracing non-metallic piping, or when design requirements dictate the use of aluminum tape to improve heat transfer. Installation of heating cable on elbows, supports, and flanges. Elbows. Locate the cable on the outside radius of an elbow to provide sufficient heat to compensate for the added piping material. Secure the cable to the pipe on each side of the elbow with attachment tape. Pipe supports. Insulated pipe supports require no additional heating cable. For uninsulated supports, allow two times the length of the pipe support plus an additional 15 inches or 40 centimeters of heating cable, or as specified on project drawings. Flanges. Allow cable to be looped around pipe on each side of and adjacent to the flange. Heating cable must maintain contact with flange when bending around pipe flanges to compensate for additional heat loss. Refer to the product specification sheet for minimum bend radius for the specific cable type. Do not exceed bend radius when completing installation. Installation on valves and pumps. Install heating cable on valves and pumps utilizing a looping technique. This allows the valve or pump to be removed if required. Crossing constant watt heating cable over itself should be avoided. Refer to the product specifications sheet for minimum bend radius for the specific cable type. Do not exceed bend radius when completing installation. 
additional cable is required to provide extra heat at valves, pumps, and miscellaneous equipment to offset the increased heat loss associated with these items. For estimated cable requirements on typical valves and pumps, refer to Thermon's CompuTrace program, Table 1 in Thermon Installation and Procedures Form PN50207, or as specified on project drawings. Complete splice connections if required in accordance with the installation procedures provided with the splice kit. Before making power connections, the heating cable should be tested to ensure electrical integrity with at least a 500 volt DC megometer. However, IEEE 515 and IEC 60079-30 recommend that the test voltage for polymer insulated heating cables be 2500 volt DC. Connect the positive lead of the megometer to the cable bus wires and the negative lead to the metallic braid. Minimum resistance should be 20 mega ohms. Record test results on Record 2 of Cable Testing Report in Thermon Installation Procedures Form PN50207. Install power kit connection in accordance with the detailed installation procedures provided with the power connection kit. Thermal insulation. The need for properly installed and well-maintained thermal insulation cannot be overemphasized. Without insulation, heat losses are generally too high to be offset by a conventional heat tracing system. In addition to piping and inline equipment such as pumps and valves, all heat sinks must be properly insulated. This includes pipe supports, hangers, flanges, and in most cases, valve bonnets. Regardless of the type or thickness of insulation used, a protective barrier should be installed. This protects the insulation from moisture intrusion, physical damage, and helps ensure the proper performance of the heat tracing system. Seal around all penetrations through the thermal insulation. After installing thermal insulation and weather barrier, but before energizing the heating circuit, the megometer test should be repeated. This should call attention to any damage to the heating cable that may have occurred while installing insulation. Record test results on Record 3 of Cable Testing Report in Thermon Installation Procedures Form PN50207. Apply caution labels to insulation weather barrier at required intervals along pipe. Final Inspection and Documentation it is recommended that the circuit be temporarily energized so that the volts, amps, pipe temperature, and ambient temperature can be recorded. This information may be of value for future reference and should be maintained for the historical operating data log. Record test results on Record 4 of Cable Testing Report in Thermon Installation Procedures Form PN50207. Note. To ensure the heating cable warranty is maintained through installation, the testing outlined on the Thermon Cable Testing Report must be completed on the installed heating cables. Contact Thermon for additional details.